22. The test tubes shown here contain equal amounts of a specified motor oil. Identical metal spheres were dropped at the same time into each of these tubes, and a brief moment later, the spheres had fallen to the heights indicated in this illustration. Rank the motor oils in order of increasing viscosity and explain your reasoning. Okay, so new concept here, we're talking about viscosity. Viscosity, by definition, is basically a measure of a liquids, we'll say, because with viscosity, we're only dealing with liquids. So it's a measure of a liquids resistance to flow. Now, when we think of some liquids, there are different, uh, there's different, uh, levels of how a liquid can flow, right? If we think about with water, right? Water, if you put it in a water bottle and you shake it up and down and up and down and up and down in the water bottle, the water is very, very quick to react. It's flowing as soon as you, you know, you know, put it upside down or when you tilt it back up, the water is constantly flowing. So for water, Water is relatively has a low viscosity. Now, on the other hand, when we're talking about maybe on the other end of the spectrum is honey, right? Honey technically is a liquid, right? It's in liquid form. And generally when I'm sick, right? I love tea and honey and a little bit of lemon. So when I'm sick and I want that honey, and I pour it, you know, and I tilt it upside down to go into my, to, to go into my tea. Ugh, it takes so long, right? You're waiting so long for that liquid to drop down. That's a lot of resistance. That honey does not want to flow. It's got a lot of resistance of flowing. So honey would have a high viscosity. So just to kind of put it into perspective as to what actually viscosity means. If you have a liquid that's constantly moving and it's able to move very quickly, low viscosity. But for honey and molasses, very, very viscous uh, liquids because it takes so long for them to flow. They're very resistant. So now here we have motor oils and we dropped that sphere into the four uh, different motor oils, and it seems like the ball is at different heights, right? Now, it seems like we have the ball being the lowest here, and as we're going up and up and up and up and up, the ball is didn't travel so far. So for this one, the ball traveled the farthest, because remember, you're always, you're dropping it from here. So we'll say with the first one, well, what was that? A T. Don't know. So the first one, uh, this one traveled the farthest. Is there two farthest? Farthest. Farthest? Now this is looking very weird to me. Traveled farthest. That looks good. Is there two L's in traveled? I think there is, but it doesn't matter. And this one traveled the least. Okay, meaning the ball, right? The ball traveled the least from the top. So think about it in terms of resistance, right? If this ball was able to just go all the way down, did it have to fight anything? No, it was smooth sailing going right through that liquid. But as far as coming over here, when the ball dropped and it's traveling down, it's the same time, right? They were dropped at the same time. This ball was having a really hard time. It's got to fight through this liquid to just travel this much. Seems like this sphere, um, you know, fought much harder than this sphere. Well, what does that say about the actual motor oil liquid? If a sphere is just able to travel through, there's really no, or very little intermolecular forces that are allowing this uh, ball to be held up. 
So if your material can travel through a, um, a liquid, the liquid would be the least viscous. So the liquid is the least viscous because the ball traveled the farthest. It was able to flow. But since this ball didn't travel, travel the least, right? That liquid is the most viscous because it had a lot of intermolecular forces that did not allow that ball to travel far into the liquid. It was the most resistant. And remember, high viscosity, high resistance. So rank the motor oils in order of increasing viscosity. This one has got to be the highest viscosity because the ball didn't travel far. This one is the least, it traveled the most. So if we did put our less than signs, we'll say that this 20 viscosity is less than 30, which is less than 40, which is ultimately less than 50. So least viscous, low viscosity. Viscosity. And then for this one, this one has the highest viscosity. And that's it. What'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in further questions. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.